this is where it all started, with this 19th century Chinese lacquer box. Is this the missing link in the development of the world famous artist MC Escher? This started my quest. My name is Joris Escher. MC Escher was my great uncle, that is my grandfather's brother. When I was five years old, almost six, I met him and I remember not very many things, but I do remember his gentle voice. I do remember his uh, studio and apartment uh, in the retirement home for artists in Lare, where I lived as well. And I, I grew up with his images. We had Escher's at home, among which Escher's father, G.A. Escher, and it's a, it's a love of my youth, you could say. Furthermore, there were always those letters and cards to my father, to my grandfather. And uh, this is normal for me, but they were a very rich source for my book, for the, for the quest. Who is the man behind MC Escher, the artist? So I, I had found the box and I saw the wasted edges and I thought, the fingers of boys' hands must have taken out this layer innumerable times. And I took it out and I saw a drawing of the six steps to solve this uh, puzzle. You need so much imaginative thinking power to be able to solve this, like a chess player, but then in three dimensions. And I knew that from a kid, he had had this power and trained this power. And in the search, how did he become Escher? This was crucial. But I wanted to know how did he become the world famous artist? There's only one of him. What were the internal forces? What were the circumstances? And postcards and letters weren't enough. I had to understand with my hands what his hands did, what his hands understood. And um, I went to the exact places where he went uh, to look for the, uh, the places he chose to draw, to draw and to, to research his way of looking. So we went to Italy, we went to Spain, I went to Japan because my great-grandfather went there. So I learned to uh, make woodcuts as he did. Here I made a print of Siena, of a, uh, of a place where he drew. I went to that place, I made the drawing on that very spot. I did with my hands what his hands uh, did, with my feet, what his feet did in his footsteps. And in Canada I learned to watch through the eyes uh, of George Escher, his son, to the vast Canadian nature. And I, he gave me the feeling that through his eyes I could see through the eyes of MC Escher. And that gave me, uh, as a writer, uh, an enormous jump start for my imagination. To be able to crawl into his head and to write uh, as if you, as a reader, you experience the creation of the oeuvre of Escher as an artist through his very own eyes. So how did MC Escher become the Escher we all know today? You can read about it in my book, Becoming Escher. <laughs>